In this video, I'm going to give you 5 tips to help you instantly improve at digital sculpting. And while I'm sharing these tips with you, there will be a time lapse of me sculpting in the background. So the first tip is to use reference. But not just any reference, you need to use quality reference. Now this might seem obvious to a lot of you out there. However, there are a lot of younger, more inexperienced artists who tend to underestimate the importance of using reference. To make matters worse, there is this idea that is being perpetuated that using reference is somehow cheating. The fact of the matter is that it is not. There is absolutely no shame in using reference. Professionals use plenty of it all the time on commercial and personal projects. You only stand to benefit from its use. So get started on building your reference library. Here's a bonus tip for those of you that are into sculpting characters. Get your hands on an anatomy atlas who will prove to be an invaluable resource time and time again. The second tip is to view your model from different angles. When sculpting, do not get carried away and lock onto one view and sculpt for a long time. Doing so will flatten out your forms. Keep reminding yourself during the course of the sculpting process to evaluate your model from different views. Take advantage of the three-dimensional aspect of sculpting and evaluate your model from above and below, as this will help you greatly in controlling your forms and also ensure that they read correctly when viewed from any angle. Tip number three is to dedicate more time and effort to properly lighting your sculptures. Lighting is something that is often overlooked, rushed, and treated as an afterthought. Paying close attention to lighting will help you enhance the appearance of your sculptures. It adds mood and is also an element of storytelling. It can make or break a sculpture and greatly influences the final presentation. So dedicate a decent chunk of time to ensure that your sculpture is being shown in the best light possible. Tip number four, use the different matcaps available to your advantage. For most of the sculpting process, it is recommended that you use a neutral matte cap. The reason for this is to see exactly what you are sculpting as some of the other matte caps have ambient occlusion and cavity baked into them and can give you incorrect feedback as to what is really going on when you are sculpting. There are however some cases where you can use other kinds of matte caps to your advantage. One instance is when you are sculpting anything hard surface you can use a highly reflective matte cap to identify and clean up undesirable bumps and divots on the surface of your mesh that you might not notice while using a neutral matte cap. Alright, so the fifth and final tip. Pay attention to silhouettes. We have evolved in a way in which we organize and process visual information in a particular sequence where the silhouette or the primary shape is the first read when we look at anything. All the most iconic characters have strong and distinct silhouettes and can be easily recalled mentally. So as artists, it is important for us to check and see if the silhouettes convey our intent and the story we want to tell. So before I wrap this video up, I will give you one last bonus tip. However, this particular tip isn't going to help you improve instantly, but it is important nonetheless, and that is to increase your mileage. If you're new to digital sculpting, you will benefit a great deal from just sculpting a lot. Try to dedicate some time to sculpting a little every single day. Attempt to sculpt various subject matter and slowly raise the level of difficulty as you get more proficient. So go ahead and employ these tips when you sculpt the next time and I guarantee you will see improvements. So that's it for this video. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. And if you'd like to support the creation of content on this channel, you can do so by purchasing my tutorials and resources from my Gumroad store, the link to which is in the description of this video. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.